Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, June the 11th. It's the second week after Pentecost, and week four in the Psalm cycle. Add the scripture for this service, Psalm 74, and Luke chapter 19, verse 28 to 40. And please join me in singing the second verse of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts, to the tune of Old 100. Nations attend before God's throne with solemn fear and sacred joy. Know that our God is God alone, who can create and can destroy. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia, Psalm 74. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people which you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion where you have dwelt. Lift your feet to the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste to your sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations. They set up their ensigns as signs of victory. They have struck like those with axes in a grove of trees. Now they break it down the carved work with axes and hammers. They have set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name. And they have said in their hearts, let us destroy them. And they have burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no signs. There is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your strong hand? Take it out of your bosom, for you are my ruler of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the head of Leviathan in pieces, and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, the night also. You have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember, O God, that the enemy has scorned, that foolish people have blasphemed your name. Do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked, and forget not the congregation of your poor. Remember your covenant, for the caves of the earth are the habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and the needy praise your name. Rise, O God, and plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish revile you all day long. Forget not the voice of your enemies, the tumult of those that rise against you continually increases. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, beginning at verse 28. Now after Jesus had said this, he went on ahead, going to Jerusalem. And when he had come near Bethpage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you. As you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. 
untie it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you why are you untying it, just say this, the Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying this colt? And they said, The Lord needs it. And then they brought it to Jesus. And after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. And as he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. And as he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of his disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. And he answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, or give us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary, that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.